All right, the last practice problem is the most difficult one. So we're going to just pretend we're writing Photoshop and we want to allow the user to lighten up their photo by any amount that they want. So on a real application, we'd probably have a slider, but since we don't know how to code that, we'll just ask the user for input how many grayscale units they want to increase the brightness by. And then uh, we'll display the picture. So for this one, we need, we can uh, borrow the code or actually let's just hack the code for this last problem here. So we can get rid of these first two lines and then go ahead and do that. We don't really need to print out what the NumPy array looks like. Um, I think let's just make sure this works. Um, actually, we need to, oops, we need to read in the camera first, camera photo. Okay, let's see if this works. Oh, what did I, oh yeah, I forgot my imports once again. Let's go ahead and paste that in. Okay, now I think it should work. No, camera is not defined. Oh yeah. Okay, now I've defined camera, and I guess I don't actually need to define threshold camera because I'm gonna calculate that. Let's try that. Okay, there we go. Uh, all right, now what we want is for the user to be able to type in how many units they want to increase the brightness by. So let's say, um, Let's just make up a variable and let the user input how much they want. Yeah, okay, that's interesting that it's highlighting those parentheses. I don't think that's gonna be a problem, but. All right, so now the problem is of course the usual one, which is that um, this is going, the use user increase is going to end up being a string. We don't really want it to be a string, so need to turn it into an integer. Okay. All right, so they type in the number they want, we turn it into an integer. Now, let's see. So the 255, I think we need to leave there, but what we want, so basically instead of this number here, 55, we want to use whatever they say. So let's replace this. Now, this number is going to be 255 minus whatever they typed in. So let's say user increase minus 255. All right. So let's see, I think we may need to put this in parentheses or else have it as a separate statement because of the order of operations, it's probably gonna do this Boolean comparison before it does the subtraction and that's gonna throw things off. So let's have it do the subtraction first and then uh, do the comparison. <clears throat> so let's see if this works. 
uh, actually I have this backwards. It should be 255 minus the user increase. All right, <clears throat> let's give it a try. Okay, let's say 50. Uh, I guess that worked. Let's make it be a big number. Ooh, yeah, definitely brightened that up. Now let's see if we can break it. Okay, that's interesting. 255. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. Let's try 254. Okay, yeah, 254 brightened it up. Basically, only ones that are just under completely black, or that are just more than completely black are still there. If we make a number higher than 255, let's see what happens. Oops. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, it looks like no matter what we do here, we're getting black. Um, let's try zero just to see what happens. Yep, we get the normal picture. All right, so this could clearly use a little bit of bulletproofing to prevent the user from putting in bad numbers, but it does seem to actually work, so that's good.